Are you looking for a system that gives you access to information about consumers worldwide? I have just a thing. It's called Passport by Euromonitor, and it's provided to you for free by Concordia University Library. Now, you have to click on the link from the library website to the system because then you get the auth authentication option. If you're sitting on campus like me right now, you would just be able to click right on the title and go. If you're at home, you would log in with your net name and password. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm on campus and I click on passport and I go right in. Now, think of this as the Wikipedia of worldwide consumers. It literally is a website that we pay for where analysts report on consumer trends worldwide. You definitely want to use it for your assignments. First thing that you get is the terms and conditions. Now, of course, you should read this thoroughly, but essentially it says that this is provided to you for your education. Uh, you, you're not allowed to download reports and share them outside of the university context. So for example, you know, don't that download reports and share them at work. You're not supposed to do that. This is supposed to be for uh, you know, inclusion as an annex and a report that you give to your professor or sharing it with your fellow students, but you're not supposed to share it outside of campus. Now, this system has a lot of information. I want you to explore it. For example, notice here in the corner, there are mega trends uh, and some other really interesting things. I don't have time to show you everything. This video would be too long, but I want to make sure you get to do two things. And here's what you have. I want you to search for consum consumer lifestyles by different countries. That's the first thing I want you to do. And the second thing is to look under search, search full tree and look at the categories. So we'll do that together in the, in the next few minutes, okay? So first thing is do consumer lifestyles. Now you type consumer lifestyles and then you just need to type a country name. So in this case, I could do Canada, but notice there's a bunch of different countries. When you let the, the preview results show up like this, you'll notice that it's right here. So you could just click and go. So that's the straight way to go in. But let's say you hit on enter or you hit go, then you get to the full result set. And I wanna make sure everybody knows to do this to look under analysis. Because the first thing you get is statistics in the result set. And I want you to remember to look under analysis, right? So either you, you click straight from the preview search results or you execute the search and you go to this other page. It doesn't matter. Just make sure you click on analysis. Now, when I click through here, this is a 40, 50 page report about Canadian consumers. And you have this report available for different countries around the world. So hey, you know, if you're Googling for this information, maybe you're wasting your time. Maybe you should use the library subscription to these very powerful, you know, database that gives you this report for free. I mean, we pay for the bill, but that's cool. You get it for free. That's part of the deal, right? Um, what do we have in here? Notice here under the table of contents, we have Consumer Lifestyles in Canada. That's the title of the report, which is available on the Passport system provided to you by Euromonitor International. That's the name of the publisher. That's the publisher, that's the platform, and this, this is the title of the report. I'll show you how to cite this uh, in a, at the end of the video. Now, you get top five consumer trends, then you get consumer seg segmentation in this country. I mean, and you have this report for many countries, so it doesn't matter. You know, you could totally explore house and home, spending and savings. So, you know, if you're, if you're brainstorming about what's happening in Canada, maybe you should read this first. Maybe you should get evidence about the different things that these specialists have provided in terms of what's happening in Canada. You know, just saying. So, you know, this is a very extensive report. I'm just going to like browse quickly here. Notice this is like a very detailed report. You want to save it, print it, uh, download. All of these options are here. Um, so I'll let you explore that. So yeah, read this. This is not going to be, you know, something that your professor will say you have to read it. This is something you discover and you engage with because you want to be a great student. You want to get the most out of your university experience, which involves having you download things from the library. Now, let me hit uh, back to results, and I want to show you uh, some other options from uh, the system. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the main page from the system uh, because that was the first thing I wanted to, you to do. I wanted you to go to the Consumer Lifestyles uh, report, and the click-through path is through Consumer Lifestyles right here, so you could just you know kind of like go here and then browse. But notice that you have these headings, and then you can get a lot of different things. Like if you explore economies, we actually have reports about cities, and also about sustainability, and also about industrial things. And I think we only have five countries in here, not Canada, so that you know that's unfortunate. But you could still explore and discover what's in this system. This is part of your university experience. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, so consumer lifestyles was the first thing. The next thing I want everybody to do is look under search, search full tree, categories and topics. Let me do that. So I'm going to go here to the search option, click on that. And then I'm going to, going to explore the categories. The reason why you're, I'm having you do that is, yeah, you could keyword search for anything and everything, but if you don't hit on the right words with the right ending, you're not going to get the report. There may be something good for you, but then you're not uh, you know, discovering it because you may be using the wrong word. So that's why I want you to look at the tree of categories so you could click on the different uh, headings, on the different precise words that would describe what you need. Let me give you an example. I want to do health supplements, right? If I type health supplements, I may or may not get everything in the system. If I want to be a thorough librarian, uh, I want to make sure I'm using all the good stuff. So let me go through here and notice here you have these different categories. So, you know, apparel and footwear, consumer appliances. And if I browse down, I actually get a full list. This is the same list as under this heading, under the industries heading, right? Uh, but the, the, better, the better option when you hit on search is you could subdivide. So let's say I'm interested in uh, vitamins, right? So I'm going to go under consumer health. And if I expand that category, I'll be able to see the different options I have. Maybe I didn't think about subdividing my topic this way. So I want you to discover how the experts subdivide the topic and explore from there, as opposed to just trying any random keyword search. So consumer health, we have here vitamins and dietary supplements. And notice that I could even subdivide that. And then I have other options. And vitamins is even subdividable. It gets pretty interesting, right? So I'm going to just say vitamins, dietary supplements, vitamins and and the reason why I'm clicking on all of the heading levels is I want to illustrate that sometimes you want super precise information but it may not be there right so notice how all of these categories as I'm clicking clicking on these options are added to my basket right I could of course go go and explore some more had some add some additional uh, topics I could explore more topics add them it's pretty comprehensive the other thing I could do is I could try to filter I could write vitamins and then the system would like highlight the different categories maybe there's something under like I don't know like health or some other option point here is you could explore but if you're adding categories to your basket that's what I want you to do add two three four at different levels to make sure that you see the detail that you can get OK, so you have that all there. Once you've added categories, the next step is to go to the geographies option. Now, under geographies, you get to pick countries. So you're doing a project on Canada. Let's put Canada in. You're, you want to compare Canada and Brazil? Hey, let's do that. This is totally what you can do here. So uh, here I have the list of geographies. And I want to add, let's say, Canada's in North America. Last time I checked, so there we go. And then we have Latin America. Let's do Brazil. And hey, I could add multiple countries here. Uh, I won't because that slows down my report. And this is just to illustrate. But hey, you could have a lot of countries in here. Uh, just remember that there may not be a match for the specific combination of category and geography that you're hoping for. So I mean, you know, just be, be mindful of that. If it's not there, it's not there, right? So once I've added geographies and countries, I hit on search. That's what's going on right now. And here we go. Now, again, with the consumer lifestyles, notice that you have statistics and analysis. So remember to click on both or either or neither. Or I mean, just make sure you check both, right? Because the analysis is really where the value is at. So if I click here on analysis, look, consumer health in Brazil, dietary supplements in Brazil, vitamins in Brazil. We're super lucky. We have reports at the different levels. Which one should you read? Should I read them all? Should I just read the one I want? Hey, it's up to you. The point here is the more detail you have, the more you use these systems, the more sources you have, the better your report becomes. The difficulty then isn't so much like finding anything about this topic, but really selecting the best little facts that you are including in your report to support your claims. Hey, it really depends on the project that you want to do and how much time you have and the detail that you need. Uh, but I would personally look at them all because I'm uh, compulsive. I mean, I mean, I'm thorough. I'm thorough. Right. OK, so uh, let's do I just, you know, vitamins in Brazil. And again, this is in addition to the consumer lifestyles in Brazil report that we uh, could have accessed earlier. So yeah, this is what you get. You get a more detailed report. So in addition to the consumer lifestyles report, which is broad line, you know, just kind of broad strokes. Boom, you're digging into uh, this very specific category. All right, so read it, download it, you know, enjoy it. It's free. It's super expensive to buy, but it's free while at you're at Concordia, so use it. 
Uh, OK, so that's an example of a single report. Let's go back to the results. I want to show you some more cool things with the system. Um, so let's go back to the analysis page. I just want to drive a final point here. Uh, notice, OK, so consumer health, Brazil, 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 yada, yada, yada. We go down, here's Canada. Uh, and actually, you also have some other types of briefings, other types of reports. Eventually, we'll hit some. Um, there we go. These are consum uh, company profiles. So this is maybe giving you uh, the major players out down there. And a great tr tip is to use these names of these different companies that you may not know from down, down there in Brazil or, you know, uh, go to ProQuest. Uh, to get articles. And there's a whole set of videos about finding articles about these different companies. But the point here is from this system, you can branch to other systems and discover more. OK, so um, more detailed reports, company profiles, briefing, other kinds of stuff. So explore, please. This is under analysis. Let's do statistics now. Uh, yeah, so we have market sizes, company shares, brand shares, distribution. Look at all these beautiful statistics. Uh, let's just illustrate this top one, market sizes, right? I'm going to view the full data set. And yeah, this is literally raw data, or actually aggregate data, that you can you know, include in your reports. This is why we pay the big bucks for this system. So what do we get? We get Brazil consumer health spending is uh, 19 billion. We're in reals here, so that's millions of reals. So that's 19 billion reals. Versus consumer health for Canada is 5 billion Canadian dollars. Well, that's kind of cool, but different currency. We'll fix that in a second. And yeah, it goes to 2018. That's uh, last year. I mean, depending on which year you're watching this video. Uh, but now, let me show you some cool things. Notice here, convert data, right? Let's click on that. And um, the first thing that we could do is change the currency. Because if you want to compare Canadian and Brazilian consumers or consumption, uh, you want it to be in the same uh, 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 currency, right? So if I go here to the currency option, uh, let's make it year over year US dollars. You could make it euros or you know pounds or yens or whatever you want. But yeah, year over year. And boom, it just converts it all. So first thing that we can notice is that um, the in current dollars, I'm just going to use 2013 because that's the one that's on the screen. I mean, it goes uh, all the way to last year. And there's also forecasting that I'll show you how to get. Uh, but we could see that uh, the consumer health spending in Brazil is 8.9 billion US dollars compared to uh, consumer health spending in Canada is a tad under 5 billion. So like Brazil's aggregate national spending on consumer health is about a little less than double Canada's spending. So that's interesting. So yeah, Brazil has a bigger market. But there's more. Let's keep converting our data. Let's keep playing with it. Because I think this point, there's more nuance to bring. Uh, if we go to the per capita or per household option, yeah, the aggregate may be larger at the Brazil level. But what happens with the per household spending? Maybe because there are less households in Canada, every household spends more, right? So converting households in Canada is more profitable, perhaps. So we get a different hit on this level. We could see that the average Canadian spending, sorry, you can't see it on the other side, but that's the Canadian spending. Uh, an average household in Canada spends $360 for consumer health, whereas in Brazil, it's half the amount. So that's kind of what I'm getting at. In terms of trying to drive a point home, you have to be careful about which variable you use and it, have you used the correct combination of settings to really drive a point home. There's, there's um, a story behind this data, and you have to find the right story to support the claims that you're making in your assignments. If you're not supporting your claims, with data, I mean, they, they're, they are only as good as what you believe. And, and belief and, and knowledge are two different levels of, of knowing. So that's a whole other conversation. But the point here is this provides data, but you have to configure the data in the right way so that you're driving the right point home. And the difficulty isn't so much finding information. If you watch my series of videos, you'll find tons of information. The difficulty becomes picking the right kind of information to support your claims. All right, so you could play with uh, converting your data. Uh, I've showed you a couple of options. Uh, we could also look at the retail volume versus the retail sales price, RSP, or market sales price, uh, MSP. Um, the difference would be you're looking at uh, you know, the distribution cost versus the retail cost versus 
how many units you need to push to get to that market size. It's just a different variable. It really depends on if you're doing inventory management more than like supply chain. Anyways, it's you get the idea. It's it, These are options that you have in the system and, and they will help you drive different points home. Last thing I wanna show you is that you can get forecasting. So if you click here on the date, you can get to 2023, boom, and you hit apply and that will retrieve the forecasting. It'll look in, a, in a italics on the report page, uh, but that's, yeah, what you could do with the system. So boom, all the way to 2023. Now, if you wanna get to the um, uh, download options, I'm gonna have to like squeeze goodbye. I'm being squeezed, no, no. Ah. Uh, here you have the download options and the linking options. Uh, so you can import this data in Excel. Let me put my face back. Uh, Hi, I'm back. I was okay. That didn't hurt at all. Uh, so uh, you could download here. Um, and yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Um, so this is a great system. I love Passport. Uh, it's free. It's expensive, but it's free for you. It's expensive because the university pays for it. It's part of your... Uh, part of your access. Remember to search for consumer lifestyles by country, doing a search, keyword search in the search box, and then looking under the full tree of categories. So going to search, search full tree, and then playing around in the category uh, selection option. So search, search full tree right here, and then go, and then you could pick the different categories and countries and get uh, your reports and your data. Now, last thing I want to mention is we do have a guide under help and how to citing, right? So this is the library website, help and how to citing. If you go under APA, we have a citing business databases and APA format page. If you click on that, then you could look at all the different systems that we provide access to. And I actually have made videos for most of them. Uh, it will tell you how to do a footnote for uh, a report or a data set that you retrieve from the system in APA format. So make sure if you copy paste little blurbs from the report that you put it in quotes and you have a footnote. Because if you don't do that, yeah, you get caught for plagiarism and that really sucks. But actually what's really awful is you've done all this work of like finding the report, reading it, understanding it, applying to the context of your project. And you're not even telling your professor that you got it from this wonderful tr trustworthy expensive system. I mean, that blows my mind that you wouldn't cite your sources. You would just copy paste without putting the quotes and the footnote. That's like so easy to do. So, librarian rant, Olivier Charbonneau from Concordia University Library, showing you how to use Passport by Euromonitor. Enjoy it, uh, read it, learn from it, explore it, but make sure you get the consumer lifestyles by country, as well as search for the categories for your project. Have a great semester.